holidaymakers may have been confused when they awoke this morning. They were in Torquay and not by the Red Sea. It was thousands of tonnes of earth collapsing which changed the colour of the water and the landscape of these cliffs. The section of the beach underneath the cliffs here has been closed for some time and there have been a number of smaller rock falls recently, but the one last night was the largest by quite some way. The Café on Oricum Beach remains open. The staff see coastal erosion at close quarters. All over the Easter weekend, it's been gradually coming down, um, just like a river of rocks at some point. There used to be a rock in the sea that's not there anymore either, so I'm not sure where that's, whether that got hit by the cliff fall or whether or not it's just the sea that's made that disappear as well. So, yeah, uh, completely different to what it looked like yesterday. The house has been uninhabitable for some time. Its large garden's been eaten away and part of the house collapsed around Christmas. A big chunk followed last night. The site's become popular with people chronicling crumbling cliffs. William Gill's been filming here for more than a decade. The part that's now collapsed has um, never been protected uh, fully because it's uh, just not physically possible to do. And uh, as I say, the inevitable has happened. And uh, last night, as I say, was uh, almost a final crunch. But there's still more to come down. The weather also claimed another high-profile scalp. The seawall between Torquay and Paynton has been breached. The road is closed, meaning diversions for locals and holidaymakers who were down for Easter. We inspect regularly um, the, the sea defences here, very important to us around the bay with 20 odd miles of coastline, some of that very sensitive areas. So we monitor that on a regular basis. So if anything like that's going to happen, like this time, within one hour we were here. But nothing was picked up in the monitoring that there could be a weakness here then? No. People are being urged to stay away from the affected areas. Hamish Marshall, BBC Spotlight, Torquay.